Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to The Night is Grey, an upcoming horror game where you're in the woods, and there's a bunch of wolves and one odd girl. If you don't behave, the wolves will come at night. They will take you away as you scream, and I'll be laughing the whole time with no love to give. Do you hear me? You spoiled little brat. What the hell? I gotta get out of here. It's fine. Someone there? We're good. Let's go back exactly where we ran from. No way I'm going back there. Smart. Can't pull a, a King's Quest where you, as soon as you arrive, you can just walk into the ocean and die. It's like a cabin. There's a house. I wonder. I'll check it out later. I have to find the source of the noise first. Looks like I have to go to the house no matter what. I guess we're kind of locked into the intro. There's a light. I mean, someone's here. It looks normal-ish. Pretty nice place, actually. Nothing scary about a creaky door, that's a jar. In the middle of nowhere. That means a door. It's nothing to be afraid of. Hello? Someone there? Um, uh, anybody home? Stop right there or I'll fire! I have a gun! Yes, clearly you have a gun, I see that. Whoa, don't shoot! I... Are you... Are you just a kid? I'm a person that has a gun. You don't scare me. I like your style. It's a strong statement. You've been taught well. Assertive. Monster! I'm not a monster, I just have glasses. I'm not a monster. Go away, monster. I'm... I'm not a monster. At least I think I'm not. And don't shoot, please. Yeah, right. Are you all alone here? Did you make that... N this is one I'm just gonna go with this one first, just because I'm curious. Were you just in the woods right now? Yeah, that was me. Oh. I was looking for Mommy when I saw you, monster. Mommy warned me there were boogeymen in the woods. I'm... What? I'm a person, I think. It's just dark out there. No, I saw you were big and furry. Well, I guess we're kind of furry in one way. I'm just an adult, and I have a beard. And you have shiny eyes. Who <laughs> went my glasses? They were just reflecting the moon, probably. So this is a play on Red Riding Hood. Because you're even wearing like a reddish outfit. Shut up! You're a monster! Are you all alone here? That's totally not a question that's gonna make you like more suspicious of me. Are you in here in the dark by yourself? No, I have Mr. Shotgun with me. Hello there, Mr. Shotgun. How do you do? If you don't want him to be mad, don't step any closer. God, she's so assertive. I swear it's okay. I'm a person like you, I think. Ha! Huh. Nice try, monster. That's not really a gun in your hands, is it? Watch her just shoot. Is that just a toy you're holding? Do you really want to find out? Don't be afraid. Don't be scared. It's just dark. Why is it so dark? The lights went out. Mommy went to fix them with the... The gen... The gen generator. The gen generator. 
She'll be here in no time, and then you'll be in really in trouble. How long has she been gone? I see. She usually takes that key in a box over by the cabinet. This time she forgot, though. But she'll come back for it any second now. I can't leave you here in the dark. Look, you can't be here alone like this. I'll just turn the lights on and you'll see there's no reason to be afraid. Okay. If you help mommy make the lights go on, and you're not a monster, then I won't shoot you. I'll be right back. Better take the keys you mentioned. Alright, got the key. Now let's walk forward. So this is the box you were telling me about? Yeah. Just making sure. I've warned you! Alright, alright. No. So far, I haven't found any optional depths. So... Maybe we're a werewolf? You don't know. See, that's always the problem. When we start cold in a horror game, or a thriller, or kind of a drama game, you never know if you can trust the, the narrator, right? She won't budge. I better fix that generator. Because for all you know, the main character is just trying to convince the player. Yeah, trust me. Those big teeth I have? Yeah, that's just, you know, custom. So much lands the plant stuff. And you stick plants in tiny clay cages? It's so you can move them in case of winter. I know that. <laughs> well, this one's empty. Gas in the middle of a forest. What could possibly go wrong? Eh, that's fine. I mean, these containers. They may drop in there. Wow, it's a mirror. Oh no, it's just a garbage can. Wait. The trash that garbage can smell horrible. But what did I expect? Did you... Did you just comment on my soul? I can see you! Stay away! That kid's got trust issues. Lots of ashes in the fireplace. So why do you clean that up? Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. I'm done to rest now. I bet it's empty. Nope. Oh, this one still has some gas after all. Of course, it's the farthest one. Got gas. Okay. Let's see here. What's in the mail? A mailman comes all the way here to deliver mail? I guess they really take their model seriously. Well, the mailmen don't take their mall that seriously. It's empty aside from dust. Someone had a lot of work chopping all these E's. Locked. Why would it even be locked? There's no one around for miles. It's not like someone would just come up here and try to... Oh. Well, sometimes there's animals that can actually open doors pretty well. Small little box or something inside. Let's go south. So what's down here? Huh. Interesting sign. That's gotta be a bad way to die. A lot worse, though. Poor era. Risk of landslides is how they close the path down. Once as a kid, I fell straight into a patch of poison ivy just like that one. Not an experience I'd like to go through again. No way I'm going for that poison ivy. Gas. Not a bad idea. A dot can control the fire. Damn. Could be a burn, alright. A tree from the woods. I heard nothing. I can't tell if the animation is maybe rotoscoped. Kind of looks like it sometimes. So we're back at the start. Maybe they have gone away by now. The bridge road is way safer anyway. First check if they're after me. Yeah, they're still after you. Am I... Am I... Okay, now if I was dead. 
Oh, look at it. It's gnawing on its own leg. They're all still here. A family who eats together stays together. I can't get out of this place. Wait, free rock. I can throw these rocks at them. But pressing my pants would be more effective. And closer to happening. There's a boat down here. What the hell are you doing, Graham? How did you mess get in this mess? Okay, here's the deal. Just help the girl out and then get far away from here. Then we come back to the woods again. Do it step by step. Fix the generator first. It really is a piece of ship. Pun. Between trees, that's more like fours. Am I right? Four ones? Free rag. Let's see if I can make this work. Get manually open that. Um, drier than a roadkill left in the sun. Now we're cooking with gas. This is what the mechanic ordered. Pump the pump. Cool. Never think I break. Something's not right here. Oh, something's not. There it is. Huh, it's broken. I should call it my self esteem. Okay. So let's actually go and get in here now. So it seems like our journey is not going to be as straightforward. Guess that one's solved. Oh yeah, no power. Can't say a goddamn thing. Sweet, I love duct tape. It's probably the most useful thing in the universe. Now I'll do. The thing my self esteem need to so little to recover. Alright, let's go all the way back. Put the new belt on. This should do the trick. Gas pump. Wait for it. We're good. Great. Something works out for me. Or a change. Now that we have power, I think there might be more in that shit. There was a light. Maybe not. We'll see. Okay. Yep, that makes sense. There's a lot less dust than everything else in here. It's a teddy bear of some sorts. That's a publisher mascot. It's missing a handle. Something I could use the old song up there. I'll need some help. It's too high up. The little girl is probably gonna like reach it for me. Is my guess. Can I come in? Don't shoot me, please. I'm not a... Were you? That was just a broom, huh? Yeah, but it scared you. <laughs> but you're no monster. You're a mister. Mister... Did you see mommy? Oh, right. Your mom's missing, huh? Yeah. Has she... been gone a while? Yeah. Did she... go out there? Yeah. 
Oh, then... Oh. No, I did not see her. Oh. Maybe I can see her from outside the house. Well, I don't really think so, and maybe you going outside is not a great idea. She's just going out there, believe me. You see, the thing is, right now, it can be a bit de- Damn kids. Quick, free stuff. Nothing here fits either me or the girl. It's not really the right time to write the grocery list. No family pictures, no people. Just pictures of boats in the sea. Hmm, curious. I guess might as well take it since, anyway, I see it. I'm toast. Free stick. Almost got shot with a broom. My eyes must be getting worse. Good thing the kid was able to keep warm for so long. It's locked. Maybe the kid wasn't supposed to get in there for some reason. Hmm. Smells kinda burnt. It's been bubbling for a while. Yeah, every door is locked. The front door is ajar, but the doors inside are locked. Hmm. Little girl, do you even belong here? Yeah, this is not that dark of a game, is it? I don't think so. Yeah, you know, this, this is my horror game senses tingling. Hey. I'm Graham, by the way. I'm Hannah. Do you like pears? I think. I think, sure. Nothing wrong with them. Well, if you don't like them, there's something wrong with you. They're my favorite fruit. Do you have pears? Afraid not, kid. Mommy sure is late for dinner. Kid. Do you live here with anyone else but Mommy? It's me and Mommy all the way. She has dark stars in her face. And hair that's black like the night. So, what does that mean? Like, freckles and a brunette? That's what I said. Does she... Do you have some other place? You have dinner at. Of her family? Only Granny and Grandpa. But I haven't seen them since I was a tiny little baby. They live in the village. All the way on the other edge of the forest, you know. How do you usually get there? Mommy never takes me anywhere. She used to go by boat. Because it was quicker. But that crappy thing is busted. No other way? Sure, the bridge path. It's longer, though. Mommy hates it. Oh. Um, that path's not really safe. I saw some wolves there. Oh, so where's Mommy? Look, kid. Neither of us should really stay here any longer. Even your house isn't totally safe. We need to get out of here now. What do you say I take you to your grandparents' house? No, I can't leave. What if Mommy comes back and I'm not here? She'd be real mad at me. Leave a note. Hey. I bet you that your mommy is at your grandparents' home right now. What if she's waiting there for you so you can all have dinner? I'm sure they'll have all the pears you might want. I'll take you there. Maybe. How will we get there? Don't worry, I'm on it. I'll stay on the lookout. Just in case mommy comes back. You still afraid of me? You're not scared of me anymore? Oh <laughs> <laughs> no, mister. You're just silly. How am I silly? You have a nice home. So, nice place you have here. Are you giving me the attitude? What? Mommy says that dis... Disrespect... Disrespectful... What, coming on your home? No, giving attitude. Are you being mean? I'm not giving you anything. I'm just saying you have a nice home. I think. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's our home. I like to play outside and watch the fireflies. They're pretty like fairies. They... sure are. Do you see there's never a way out of here? You said there was another way to the village. 
Besides the boat, I mean. Nowadays, mommy goes for the bridge. The bridge? Are you sure? Yeah. She never takes me, though. She says it's too dangerous for me. Oh? Mommy says I'm sick. I shouldn't do too much walking. But it's okay. I'm sorry to hear that kid. Hey. If mommy goes for the bridge, then that's where she went. To see Grammy and Grandpa. Let's go through there. Let's go, mister, right now. I told you, we can't go through there right now. But don't worry. I'm finding a never even better way to get there. Okay. You help reaching a place. There it is. Hey, kid, I need your help with something. How'd you feel about Biggie Piggy back rides? Hey! I love those. Come, Piggy Piggy. Well, I... You... Uh, still don't know why we're here, or why we were being chased by wolves. You're lucky you're a cute kid. Not even sure we'll find out within the span of this demo. Grab that for me. Storky? Quick, mister, let me grab him. Hey, kid. Have you gotten your tetanus shot? I didn't shoot anything. It was a broom, remember? <laughs> yeah. Since you're so tall now, how about you give me a hand? It reached towards that old saw. Okay. Oh, God, don't cut yourself. Okay, you got it. Good job. Here you go, mister. But Molly says you shouldn't play with sharp objects. Yeah, but I think she might see this as an exception. Don't worry. So maybe we can cut those vines. Hey, mister. You're good at fixing stuff, right? I guess. I mean, I used duct tape earlier. Would you pretty please, please take Storky and fix him for me? What, your toy? Right now? I don't think so, kid. You have it. Come on. I don't want to go around with a children's teddy. No. Please? I got urgent stuff to do, kid. Pretty please? Kid, I'm telling you. This doesn't matter right now. And your doll seems fine enough. The answer is no. Alright. Please! God damn it, fine. I suppose I can try if I find the right materials. Okay, thanks. But first, you have to promise. Promise to give him back after you fix him, and you promise not to be a horror twist. You promise? Why would I want to keep your doll? Mommy took Storky away when I was bad. And she promised to give him back. But she never did. You have to give him back to me, please. I... Sure. I promise to give it back. Be good, Storky. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, I'll be good. <laughs> Silly bird. I wasn't even being funny. I should give him like a more comical voice. How would a, how would a Storky sound? It would be more like... I don't know. No, no, no. I get sued by Mickey on that one. Be more of like a, a softer one, like a... I'm Mr. Storky. Mr. Storky likes stocks and investments. Something like that, I feel like it'd be a good Storky voice. That's no way to probably fix a dumb thing. Not that I even want to. Just put that duct tape in your mouth, your breath stinks. How about I shut your mouth? We want to talk to you then. Can't grasp it well enough. Oh yeah, kit bashing. It's almost useful, which means it's not useful at all. If only people stuck together as well as duct tape. Hope this works.
Can't believe I made that work. You did something good for once, Graham. Who knew? Shame the saw became completely unusable. Ah, convenient. At least I can still keep the butter knife. That's steep. Anyway, once we go down there, we can't come back. The wolves might get us. I'll take the kid to her grandparents' house. It's the least I can do. Let's go back and get the kid. Hey, kid. Mister, I saw a wolf. Where? You fell for it. Or did I? Perhaps I was the wolf. Awu. You were so scared. Funny. Excuse me about wolves? Hey, you mentioned about wolves. Have you ever seen them coming around here? I've never seen one. But mommy told me they live in the forest. They're really scary. Yeah. They have big teeth that chomp down little kids. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Do you know how we'll get through to Granny's? I've got an idea. It'll just take a while. You can get going now. I have good news. Find our way to the village. Let's go. What's wrong? Nothing. Look, it's gonna be okay. I bet we'll find your mother there. And if we don't, you'll be safe and... If she comes back here, she'll know where it's the first place to go look for you. You promise? I promise. I'll even leave a note for her, just in case. But we have to go right now. Can you take me on the piggyback? Sure, kid. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. I'll be here counting how many stars there are in the sky. One, two, triple... Quads. Twenty-two. I wonder if you can even fix a doll in this version, if that's just like a... Eventual full release thing. No family pictures, no people. Huh. It's a lighthouse. The spring in which we saw each other's light. GP. Gotta find something right with first. Hey. I saw a wolf for reals. Are you just lying again? <laughs> yeah. And you fell for it again. No, I didn't. Did too. Can I borrow a pen or something? I'm gonna have something to write with, do you? I have some pretty crayons. Okay, I can make do of that. Can I borrow them? Wait. They got old and dirty. Mommy threw them away. Oh, that's a shame. Ugh. I hate going through the trash, but... Mm hmm Hey, I found a crayon amongst my soul. Huh, perfectly good crayon. Just toss in the garbage. There we go. Alright, we're good. Let's get going. Before you say anything, have you heard about the story about the boy who cried wolf? No, I'm a girl, silly. <sighs> Forget about it. Let's go. You ready, kid? Did you leave a note so mommy won't worry? Yes, I did, kid. Okay, let's go. Can you be a piggy? I hope I'm gonna eat like a piggy. Sure, get on my back. Yeah, it looks kinda like it's rotoscoped. Or just animated to be similar. To be continued. Damn it. Left off on a cliffhanger. Literally, it was a cliffhanger. There was like a, a kind of cliff in the quarry. Nice. Cola. Confirmed. We got people like looking around the facility. 
It looks like the dolls could be like a long-term quest. Puzzles. Puzzles confirmed. Brushing off the hands confirmed. This is an odd island. What if we're like a spy? Can we infiltrate something? That wolf has got the sniffles. A little more than the sniffles. The night is gray. Now it's a question, is it monstrous wolves? Or is it wolves that turn to humans and they transform in a very over gory way? So that's it for the Night is Grey demo. So let's go over, first off, where the story and kind of feel is going. And based off that trailer at the end and the preview, as I mentioned throughout the playthrough, it seems like there's, I'm thinking either werewolves or transformations or something's going on. There, there's a big conspiracy twist thing going on here. And they're, they're it looks like, even just by how the demo is kind of a little bit slow, um, and it's kind of very introductory, but there's like little hints here and there that there's a, there's a big twist under the surface. I don't think it's literally just everyone's werewolves. There's probably more layers to it, even if that's the case. But like I know it, it was odd, the rooms in the house, or the cabin or whatever, were kind of locked. Uh, little things, little things kept tripping up my radar. But obviously we can't speculate too much on the plot because of the demo. They are holding their cards very close on this storyline. On game quality, we cannot talk whatsoever because we don't have a full game to work with. It is fairly standard adventure game fair, but somewhat in a good way. The animation, like I said, looks like it may be rotoscoped, but I do like it. I, I do like the characters, how they look a little bit like cartoony over the background. And the backgrounds are detailed. Uh, basically, we, we've got the little beats we need for an adventure game. It's just that we don't have enough to go on to kind of really grade it because we left off on a cliffhanger and the story is looking like it's going to have to kind of build up to its reveal. It's not going to like play its cards too early. But so far, I like the little girl. Uh, my main character seems fine. We don't really know much about him to really make a judgment on his character. Um, right now, he is vague. Probably because there's some kind of thing with the storyline going on with him. We'll see. Anyway. So, if you want to watch you play the... Night is great demo. I'll see you guys later and take it easy.